Welcome back to another crypto video. What's good guys? I hope you're doing amazing. Thanks for hopping back into another video. Today we're going to look at Kadena, which is an infrastructure layer one project. And you know how happy they get me. I just love layer one projects. When you see the big dips in the market, the ones that usually bounce back with the most explosiveness are those layer one projects. And you can see we're just here at $6.82, which is down 2.44% at the moment on that daily time frame. And yeah, blinking a bit red, really. This is all of the infrastructure projects right here. You've got ETH, Luna, Ava, Ada, Sol, Dot, Matic, Adam. Yeah, I'm shilling. Shilling like a villain over here. So these are all the, um, you know, the layer one infrastructure projects, guys. And this is a fantastic website. If you want to just like get into all that nitty gritty information, deep sea dive on crypto, you can use this heat map here to see all of those layer one infrastructure projects. So today it's going to be Cadena, which is a really, really big one. We've never looked at it and I'm pretty bullish on it. Just looking at some key indicators, which scream at me to kind of buy. I don't want to be like a big moon boy or nothing. And I don't want to give you financial advice, but it's making me want to buy. And I really like the branding. I like the website, I like everything to do with this Cadena project. So we can see it's the only layer one proof of work blockchain that scales. Oh, oh my God, wrong hole. Who created JP Morgan's first blockchain and helped start SEC's crypto group, Cadena. 168K followers, which is pretty cool. They've got some nice February report. We can just dive right into that now. Um, if we can, well, it's not giving me much information. You suck. You suck. And yeah, so it's really interesting to see anyway, this particular project. And this is the project here. So it's a layer one infrastructure, like we said. Um, and Pact is a simple and smart safe contract language, which is the one that they use here. So control it all with Pact. We can see Cadena supports a liquidity, liquidity commons, which is a self-coordinating and un fragmented liquidity pool enabling unique incentives and cash flows across multiple exchanges interoperability as you can see here nft dabbling as well they've got multi-protocol and it's just a nice ecosystem of course all these ecosystems and layer ones are very scalable they're very fast efficient you know they're great for developers to build on to make those dApps. but um you know what really makes this particular project stand out is its low costs, its ease of use, and its ease of use is really, really cool. And you can see they created JP Morgan's first blockchain, which is kind of cool, just like in itself. It's a bit of an accolade, really. Crypto fear and greed X at the moment, guys, 22. So we still got extreme fear in the market. Looks a little bit, you know, shaky. Hoping that that Bitcoin does not drop below 39K dollars because then we could see a big rundown to about 33 um so yeah that's about it if you're new here make sure you smash the subscribe button too hop into the discord channel which is literally just down in the description below and if you want to support i mean massive thanks to the patrons all of you are really helpful to help the channel grow the community grow if you want to do that price for coffee you're going to get an ebook you're going to get some other nice things like access to giveaways one-on-one -on -one messaging and much more to come so let's hop into what's going on with Dana. we can see rank 88 so we're over a billion with the market cap, which is actually crazy because just to think that rank 88, you're now looking at the one billion dollar project. And you know, a year or two or three ago at rank 88, you would not be looking at 1.1 billion valuation. It would be more like 150, 200 million. So it just shows how much the whole space is growing. Well, we can see market cap 1.1 billion, 24 hour trading volume of 23 million. Actually very small trading uh, volume. That's literally like 2% of the total market cap. Uh, over the year, of course, we had a big all-time high, $25, all the way back down to $6.45. So when I'm on the weekly time frame, you know, you can see this massive euphoric rush. All this greed, FOMO, hype, retail, interest, this was all driven in October, which isn't even that long ago, to be honest. And when we put out our FIB retracement, we've come down to that 0.786 Fibonacci level. So guys, what does this tell me? Bull market key undervaluation reaccumulation phase. That's a lot of words. Yeah, it is. But this is really, really key. I mean, if you bought down here at 4.4, you already nearly doubled your money. And why do we like these undervaluation phases? Well, 
they help you hedge against long-term bear markets because if you get in around these undervaluation zones you can get out much quicker you know if we come up to ten dollars the next particular resistance you can get out and take your money if you got in around twenty dollars and you followed all the fear that the greed the hype you're stuck for a long time so that's why we identify these key undervaluation reaccumulation zones and it looks like this is potentially one so on the daily time frame we can see rsi is looking pretty neutral um and the, the macd has already had a bullish crossover a few days ago We've got some key support areas such as five dollars we've also got this six dollars ninety we did fall out this falling wedge uh, rising wedge right here which is a tip, tip, typically a bearish sort of uh where were we so yeah rising wedge we can see this rising wedge supports going up you know we've got the resistance also converging and we see the rollover so we've rolled over and now on the hourly time frame you can see that we've got this resistance at seven dollars one and it looks like you know if we just measure this impulse on the fib levels we could potentially come down to another support such as six dollars nine or six dollars eight before hopefully putting through a higher low for Cadena. Um, but yeah, the rising wedge, as you can see here, guys, is usually a typically bearish um, pattern, but it looks like we have found a nice bottom here where we were sort of oversold on the hourly RSI. On that four hour time frame. again, it reflects, but we have put through a higher low, which is quite nice to see. If we can get through that $7.01 resistance level, I think we'll come and retest the $8 mark around the top of the rising wedge and that would be really really good so we've got this big channel we can see resistance resistance support along here support here support here and i suppose this channel here signifies a lot of key resistance um you know if you take this high here and put it across down here so i'd like to see us retest that seven dollar seventy where we've got the resistance here resistance resistance we had this rising wedge and now we just need to break through that $7.70. I wanna see this project get to $10 again. If we can see that $10 break through this resistance, retest, come up to $10, then you've got a massive resistance level. And if you break through this resistance, you can easily see a big pump to $12, eventually retesting some bigger local highs around you know, the $17 zone as well. So it is interesting. But we know that this is an undervaluation zone. We know it's potentially a good level to be accumulating more. Just given that it falls within our Fibonacci retracements. One thing I'd like to have a look at is what could the next possible all time high be? Assuming this is the bottom now for Cadena, if you were to hold for two years, you know, I'm pretty bullish. It's infrastructure is layer one. I think $42 is a pragmatic target using our golden pocket Fibonacci extension level over here. So $42. This is my big price prediction for Cadena. Call me crazy, but it's only 700%. It's only a 7X, 6X actually, which is nothing in the world of cryptocurrency. Nothing. Because if you take the original impulse, wow, 7,000. Holy schmuckamoly. 7,000%. And we're just talking about 600%. So don't call me crazy or anything for saying this is unrealistic because it's realistic. Oh yeah, it's realistic. This is crypto, this isn't stocks. This is what happens. Um, so yeah, big volatility, lower lows, lower highs, We've got that downtrend. But if we can break through this $7.06 level, I do believe you know, we can start seeing that uptrend in the near future. Just be aware that we can still roll down can still get a falling wedge here and retest this lower levels at five dollars depending on what the rest of the market decides to do um, with Cadena. so so what's key takeaways Cadena infrastructure project probably worth getting into at some point undervaluation zone at the moment also relatively low market cap and using the Fibonacci extension you no know, fourth reason we can identify typically realistic areas of next bull market price predictions. So that's why I'm bullish on Cadena. Um, and that's why I think right now is typically a good price. And if you got in around this $28, because you were chasing the green candles, then you might be waiting quite a while. <laughs> but this is typically a very good area to accumulate. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment, leave suggestions and hop into the Discord too. Discord channel is open 100 
40 people here i think so if you want to join that'd be amazing if you want to become a patron very much welcome you to do so see you soon guys take it easy